Good morning. It's Friday, February 12th, and this morning I was reading a, um, the book of Acts, and Paul and Sil Silas are Christians, and they get put in prison. Uh, and they actually didn't do anything wrong. They uh, healed a woman through the Holy Spirit. And I was amazed because it says around midnight or in the middle of the night, they were praising, praying and singing uh, worship hymns. And I'm thinking they're in prison. Um, I read a footnote that said they were kind of in the depths of the prison and they had shackles around their feet, which were a form of uh, torture. And so I'm thinking that they're in pain and they're in prison and they're praying and worshiping God. And I was just thinking like, Lord, I don't think my character is as developed to to be, if I was in prison, I don't know if I would have the same response. And this really neat miracle happens, an earthquake uh, happens, and their cells are released. But um, in that day, if a prisoner escapes, the prison guard would be sentenced to death. And so the prison guards are ready to kill himself because he realizes that all the prisoners are, um, doors are open, but Paul says, no, we're all here. And uh, the prison guard hears about Jesus and accepts Jesus and his whole family uh, does too. And it's just this beautiful story of, I mean, God used a really difficult situation but he cared about that prison guard and his family so much um, that he used those circumstances to bring him to himself. And I just love that. I, I love how God pursues us and um, that he is even using the tough circumstances of our life. And, um, and people were listening to Paul and Cyrus praying and... They were listening to them worship, and I'm sure they were like, what? <laughs> like, why are you, where does your joy come from? And and that's just awesome. So the story really encouraged and inspired me today, and um, I just love learning more about God and his character, and just wanted to share that with you.